Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to find a remainder in JavaScript. This is actually an exceptionally useful thing. It might not seem like this right now, but when you develop web applications, you'll find that this is useful. Um, the remainder operator, uh, which is just like the percentage sign, gives you the remainder of the division of two numbers. Uh, for example, if you divide five by two, five by two is uh, 2.5, right? Because you've got one rem remainder. Um, right here, they're doing math.floor, which means that they're uh, taking the this number divided by this number and then taking it to the bottom two that's the quotient um, man this is actually kind of tricky uh, anyways in mathematics a number can be checked to be even or odd by checking the remainder of the division of the numbers okay cool so if you were to say um, three well what you can do is you can say 17 divided by 2 uh, 17 is an odd number so you've divided by 2 16 if you get a remainder then you know that it's odd. Whereas 48 divided by 2 uh, it turns out to be 0. Because you get 0, you know that you have an even number. This is actually used um, quite frequently in uh, mathematical computation uh, algorithms. Uh, the remainder operator is sometimes incorrectly referred to as modulus operator. I didn't know that. I thought modulus was the right thing to say. It is very similar to modulus, but does not work properly with negative numbers. Hmm. Interesting. So we want to set the remainder equal to uh, we want to set uh, remainder equal to the remainder of eleven divided by three using the remainder operator. Okay, great. So remainder is equal to eleven mod three. Um, what's going to be the results of this, right? Uh, three, six, nine. So this sh the remainder should be uh, tw uh, t uh, 2, because 3, 6, 9, and then uh, 10, 11. And then, but that's not evenly divisible by 3. I hope that makes sense. If we console.log console it, uh, 11 uh, modulo 3 uh, is equal to the remainder, which is our variable. So I'm just throwing the remainder in there. And so down here, we have 2. OK, cool. And so that's what they wanted us to do. And my console log didn't make it make an issue. So let's say another one. Let's say um, console.log. So instead of doing the variable here, we can just console.log exactly what they're doing. And so the point of this exercise is to find uh, remainders. So let's say 100 modulo 103. So now we should have, OK, 100 evenly divisible by, by uh, 1,003 is equal to 100, right? But what if we did 103 modulo 100? This will give us 3, right? Because, um, and then so what if we made it uh, 50? Oh, even if I make, make the mistake of making it 1,050, but it's still the same with 50, right? Because 1,000 goes into 150 one full time, and then your remainder is 50. Um, let's see, what happens if we, yeah. So I hope that that makes sense. Um, this is just simple. This is a very like uh, elementary sort of division. Um, let's do some more examples. What would be a good example? 50 mod 51. Uh, our example is 50 because 50 doesn't go into 50 at all. But if we were to do 20, we'd get 10 down here. Does that make sense? Uh, because 20 divided by, like if you divide 50 by 20, you get 2.5, right? Um, yeah. I think that those numbers are weird. I'm hoping that you can follow along. Let's say even we can make it even simpler too. Like one divided by two. That's going to be one, right? Because one doesn't divide evenly by two at le even once. If we do five, two goes into five twice. One, you know, one, two, three, four, and then you have a leftover of one. Um, th if we do three and ten, three, six, nine, so we've got three, and then we've got one left over, so we have one. And so that's how this works. This is just a, rem a remainder function. And it actually becomes surprisingly useful in uh, when you're writing algorithms in the future. But uh, I hope this helps you guys. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.